Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. The question was asked, Assalamu alaikum, my dear brother. As a revert, I find it difficult to find a Muslim lady to connect with. It is foolish to marry, I think it is foolish to marry a Christian lady who I was familiar with prior to my conversion. I know I have to take into consideration the fact she will not observe hijab and may never accept Islam, which would probably bother me in the future. But can a huge increase in lustful desires and lack of patience justify marrying a Christian woman? Or is it not befitting for a man who claim, claims to follow the uh, Ahl Sunnah to marry a Western Christian woman? Uh, this is a very uh, pertinent question. You know, it's relevant. And I'm sure many people struggle with this uh, similar scenarios. However, one thing uh, in speaking to some of the Mashiach about issues similar to this, that they also mention, well, what about our Muslim sisters? What happens to them if you marry a, a, a Christian woman? You know, the, the sisters, they have more right uh, to be cared for uh, than you going to get someone, even though it's permissible, from Ahl Kitab. So that means that there will be a Muslima or those Muslim sisters who want to marry and may even be willing to be in a polygamous relationship. In fact, even some Christian women uh, are open to that as well. But if this is your first wife, which it seems to be the case, then I would advise that it's going to be better for you, especially as you said, as a brother from Ahl Sunnah, to marry someone who's going to be compatible with you in your faith to marry a sister who is going to be, uh, you know, who's going to be compatible with you, especially in Aqidah and methodology for understanding the religion. And I would advise that you look for someone soft. And what I mean by that is even if you were to marry a Christian woman, then you want to marry one who's soft and who's going to be pliable, who's going to be Who's going to follow you? Who's going to be on your program? Because then she's more likely to convert to Islam and, and to be obedient and to be helpful in strengthening you as your wife, to be your partner, to be your, your, your warrior wife who's in your corner backing you. And you need that where, which, wherever you uh, marry. And along with that, and I'll mention, and I especially see this uh, more from the UK, in Europe, I would say, because I think there's just some differences between American Muslims and American culture. There is, uh, although they're all Western culture, but they definitely each have their unique dynamics. And what I see, especially from some of our Salafi communities and sisters in, the, in Europe, is, mashallah, they tend to be very, some of them very uh, strong, but I think because of the, the culture... You, what you seem to see to me and my observations and experience is seeing that they're a bit more extreme. Like you have women that are very, you know, uh, very strong in their, and she may not even listen to you as your wife. She may be Salafi on the, on the minhaj of the Salaf, but a lot of it is not based on knowledge. And a lot of it is on taqlid. It's on taqlid. It's what she read and translated websites and what she holds. And if you don't take from her scholar, if you say something that differs, well, Imam al-Albani said this. No, Sheikh so-and-so said this. You know, then there tends to be conflict. So I would also advise to make sure that whoever you marry, that they have some good characteristic of being soft and pliable and that she'll listen to you and respect you. And I want to mention that respect is very important because there are some women, they do have a, they will be obedient to a degree, but they don't, they may not respect their husband and they don't respect their husband in knowledge. Because what you find is you find some sisters, and again, I'm not picking on my, my beloved Salafi sisters, but I'm just saying because I'll, uh, you know, trying to adhere to the sunnah and trying to really stick to those principles, you know, those people uh, that tend to really trying to be adherent, some people have extra zeal. They have extra zeal. Almost, I will say this, and there are some people who, I won't say they're not human, but it's like they almost think it's haram to laugh, that it's haram to have fun, that it's haram to have fun in the marriage, that it's haram to joke and 
you know, so you have to determine if that's the kind of family you are comfortable with, then that's good. Because obviously there are men who like that too. There are men and women who are compatible like that. But I would just say as customs, the bottom line is you want someone who's compatible, who's pliable, who respects you, respects your knowledge or respects you as your as a man and as a husband, and that will be obedient uh, in that in good. Because that's what's your right. And you, of course, want to give her her rights. And so uh, just as a piece of advice, a last piece of advice regarding that is also, as some of the Mashaykh mentioned, I know Sheikh Mukbil and some others, Rahmatullah Rahmatullah were against that and made fatwa that no, it's not permissible in this time or in, in what have you to marry a Christian woman. And that's his fatwa. But, you know, the nusus is something different. But he's looking at the fact that more than likely, if you have children, that the woman, especially in Western countries and especially in America, she has a lot of power that if she leaves Islam or, I mean, she's a Christian. So if she decides she wants to take the children, and you separate that she's going to be bringing them to church or whatever. She's going to do whatever she wants. They're not going to have that Islamic upbringing and you don't have the power that Islam gives you and the authority that Islam gives you you can't exercise that so that's something to consider very also if you were to marry a Christian woman and if you are the one who wants to have children and you are a young man who and you know and it's a young wife and and so on and so forth so all of those things you have to consider and from the culture and so I hope that that's at least gives you some fruit and some food for thought and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan.